Well, new at 1030, a hot dog car theft in the middle of the night along the plaza left a beloved community member without his cart stand. And this man doesn't just serve meals to the community. He sometimes gives the meals away for free. As Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis reports, the community stepped up in a big way to show him how much they care. On this stretch of the plaza, it seems everybody knows Tommy, and to know him is to know his heart. He's probably one of the most genuine, sincere human beings that I've ever met. Tommy Nealon has operated the Happy Hound hot dog cart outside Hattie's Tap and Tavern for the past two years. Monday through Saturdays from 11 to 3, except Tuesdays and Wednesdays till 2. A rare eye disease robbed him of most of his vision, but it hasn't stolen his spirit and selflessness. The thing is, I help people out. And this is the money I use to help people out. I always help people out. I feed the homeless. If you walk by and want a hot dog, you don't have any money, so what? Wednesday morning, the tables turned, and it was the community that sprang into action to help him. Somebody stole my hot dog cart. Surveillance footage shows someone steal his cart from the side of Hattie's at 4.30 in the morning. They beelined it across the parking lot coming from like the VFW area, and they just went right across the parking lot straight to that cart and was there for like three to five minutes and then gone. The person rolled the cart right down the street, and it hasn't been seen since. For it to happen to somebody like that, it's just really disappointing. But here's where this story gets good. Within 24 hours of posting what happened, and on social media, bar owner Jackie Deloach says the community blew past a fundraising goal to help Tommy get back on his feet. They raised $6,000. When I showed him the number that we were at, um, he was about to cry. I mean, he's just one of those guys that never lets other people do things for him. On top of that, Deloach says Lowe's wants to build a safer storage spot for Tommy's next cart, which he'll hopefully have up and running in a few weeks. But as for this man, if he wanted something, all he probably had to do was ask. Do I hate him? No. Am I mad at him? Hell yeah, you know? And, uh, but forgive and forget, I guess. Morgan Francis, Queen City News.